What's up you guys, this is Bob and we're going to talk about how you can easily avoid eviction even if you're unemployed during this crazy crisis that we're all going through. So here at Fort Lowe Realty, we've directly helped dozens of our tenants prevent eviction by zeroing out their debts to their landlords. Now, how are we doing this? Well, by paying the landlords the rental money that they need. And the reason why this is possible because in this world of stimulus money that's just been kind of flying around everywhere, some of it has actually landed into rental assistance, which was brought on by the CARES Act. If you actually want to tap into the CARES Act and how it works and what it's doing, you can watch some videos here on it because there's a lot of things that we're still being affected by positively from the CARES Act. And so what we're doing is we're tapping into government programs that pay your rent during this unemployment crisis. What makes this situation so great is that it doesn't just pit you against the landlord and make it to where you guys are always just fighting each other, trying to get free rent, or I'm trying to support, you know, my investment in my family because this is how I make money. And what makes this so great is that it is a solution both for you, the tenant, and the landlord. Hooray! Hooray! Now the programs that we're using to help zero out your debt, the tenant's debt, and pay the landlord all the way to March do have a couple of forms that need to be filled out, but honestly, they really don't take much. All it requires is the tenant to fill out a couple of forms and the landlord or their property manager to fill out a couple of forms, which is what we've been doing. In the beginning, we were only filling out maybe one of these once in a while because people didn't really know about them, but now we're filling out three to four of these a day. Yes, our dedicated Fort Lowe Realty employees have been keeping their heads down, filling out these forms day after day after day. Now, real quick, the only thing you guys mostly need is to just fill out the address, your contact phone number, your email, your name, and then you'll have to fill out a little bit on how much rent you pay each month and the cost that you incur with those. Just know that the landlord is also going to be filling things out like this, so make sure that those numbers match up. And you'll probably need a couple other things like your social security, things related to your employment or unemployment. But the best thing to do right now is to use this tool to where you can best understand what you're really gonna need to do because every single one of these programs are so locally based. They go all the way down to your state, your county, your city. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on our website real quick, which has all the links that I'm using right now. And you go to the one that is called hud.gov topics rental assistance. On this page, it goes over every single state in the country. You can click Arizona, cause we're in Arizona and it looks like this. And it's gonna look like this no matter what state. Like notice, I'll click California next. The same thing, same things. So I'm gonna click on Arizona cause that's where we are and just kind of follow along with the buttons I click. So you click get rental help, right? That's what we're talking about. And then we do go to public housing and housing choice vouchers. Um, it can be section eight and it can be search for subsidized apartments and everything else. One of the things you can do is you can click this and PHAs in Arizona as well. Again, you'll drill down all the way to Phoenix because there's different types and you can get updates or you can go to specific programs. Like I know Home Inc is, is a specific thing, but this it'll look like this in every state where you'll have these programs because sometimes they'll centralize these programs with groups like Home Inc and they will drill it down from there with a program. Now, another thing you can do is you go to the PHAs one, then you again have to click on your state and then you have a list of actual phone numbers you can call where people can help you become aware of all of these programs that I'm talking about. You just come here, you give them a call, and they'll guide you through it. Now, when you're calling these people, there's a few things you're really gonna wanna know. And even the um, FHA has some suggestions of the best way to communicate with people to where you get your stuff done quickly and you get it all done right the first time. Because man, you do not wanna have something wrong with the government because then the whole thing restarts and it could be like another month. And seriously, those delays are a big deal because with the stalled stimulus talks of our next possible stimulus, and not even being sure if there's gonna be another one, the chances of the rental vouchers and the rental assistance being refilled, the coffers being refilled is actually, it might not happen. So make sure you just follow these to make sure you get it done right the first time. Cause right now where we are, a lot of these programs take anywhere between three and 20 days to actually fund the months of payment. So if you're watching this video, you're also likely being affected by the unemployment crisis as well. So to help you guys, 
maximize your benefits on the unemployment benefits that are available right now, you can click on these videos where I actually show you the tools you need to make sure you get your unemployment your end, you're able to maximize it so that you will still have money coming in so that you can still pay those bills and keep on keeping on. All right, guys, I hope to see you on those next videos. Have a good one.